What's up guys, I'm Nate here. Today I want to dial in, in a telephone or radio effect. And if you never heard of this name, don't worry because I'm pretty sure you already heard in countless songs, mostly rock and metal songs. And hopefully by the end of this video, it will be really easy for you to do this effect. As always, because I want to make sure that you really understand what is happening, let's go first to the DAW and then we'll go do the same in the Elix. So without further ado, let's go to the DAW. Okay, here we are in the Logic session. Let me show you uh, the guitars. Now, although this is kind of a metal song, don't worry, you can use this in pretty much any genre uh, you want. So, let's hear the guitars. Okay, let's go ahead and do the telephone thing. And here, what you need to do. Remove the low end, about 500 hertz to 800, I will say. And then a high cut around three and, a, three and a half, 4K is usually what it works best to me, that is. And usually I boost uh, one or two frequencies here, around 2K. Okay, I will say this is enough. So this is what the telephone effect is. It's basically removing low end and low mids and the high end and high mids, I will say. So the only frequencies left are the mid ones. Now, if you want more low frequencies or more high frequencies, do it to your taste, of course. Let's try it. This would work for me too. And with music... So this effect is usually used on intros or bridges of songs. And the bands that use this effect in any song, usually when playing live, uh, use samples coming from a computer uh, to the front of house. But luckily with the Elix we can do this live, uh, just with the push of a button. So let me show you how to do this in the Elix. Okay, already in the Elix, and this is how it sounds. Okay, now we need an EQ. And I'm sure there's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, you can use a simple uh, low and high cut, if you don't want that boost at the 2K area. And you just need to cut to the 500, 800 hertz, the low end, and the high cut to, I would say, let's try with 4K first. And notice that I'm using uh, this EQ before the effects. And to me, that's the way to do it because otherwise the effects will sound with this radio sound too, which is not nice to me. So here's how it sounds with this EQ. I will make the level higher, about 2 or 3 dBs. Or you can use, uh, say, a paramedic EQ, because you have the low cut here and the high cut, and you can boost any frequency that you want. So let's try uh, to low cut to the, I don't know, 600 hertz maybe, and maybe 3.5. Let's see. Much low end. And now let's boost it at 2K. And so let's do a 2 dB boost. And now what I will do is to assign this effect to one of the foot switches. And let's go with this foot switch 3. Which now you cannot see, but I have the helix right here so I can turn it on and off. And so let's say I'm in a live gig and I'm and I have to use this effect. And 
and there you go. It's really easy, just a full switch, and you have the, this radio telephone effect. Now, I think we need to adjust the level because it's too low. Let me turn it on. So, again, 2 dBs. And let's try it now. And there you go. Now, the reason I use this effect before uh, the reverb, let me show you how it sounds after the reverb. And for that, let me just exaggerate it, uh, the mix here so you can really hear what is happening. And let's put this EQ after the reverb. Now, just listen to the reverb. And with the EQ. So you can hear that the reverb is also without the low and the high frequencies, which to me, it doesn't sound good. So let's compare it now with the EQ before the reverb. Much better to me. And so there you go guys, uh, really easy to do, really cool effect to use in your songs and I hope this video was useful for you. As always, if you have any questions or if you want to see me do something in the next video, just let me know in the comments. Until there, I see you in the next video. Cheers!